Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. As you probably know by now, I'm doing a whole bunch of really short videos on Microsoft Office tools. And today I'm going to focus on paragraphs. So I'm going to show you how to set up your paper so they will match whatever your instructor says. Um, or if it's for business or whatever, however you want it to look. So if you look right here, I have the first few um, couple of paragraphs from the Declaration of Independence. That's what I've been using and that's what I'm going to continue to use. So here we go. Look right here. I'm in the Home tab on Microsoft Word and you notice that there's little sections here. This section says Paragraph and there's some paragraph commands here that we've already discussed. I already talked about left aligning, centering, and right aligning. I already talked about adding bullets and numbers. So now I'm going to talk about some of the more in-depth topics here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to highlight whatever I'm setting it up. So I'm going to highlight these two paragraphs. Now if this were a new paper I wouldn't need to do all that if I had just started something new. But since I already have text on here I have to highlight it in order to tell it what to apply these changes to. And look right down here at the bottom right of the paragraph section. Each one of these sections has this little arrow down here and uh, right here. So in the font section, if I click on this, I get more font tools. These are just the most popular font tools. Same goes for paragraph. These are the most popular paragraph tools, but if I click this, I get a box that gives me a lot more. So um, check this out. How often um, have you had an instructor tell you to double space your paper? Normally, in order to double space a paper, you would have to, at the end of each line, hit the enter key twice. Now, Microsoft Word gives you the ability to click right here where it says line spacing, and you can do 1.5, you can do double, and uh, you can do others. Notice, as I'm pointing to different ones, it changes down here. So when I show single, see how close these are? And then when I move to 1.5, they spread out a little bit, and when I move to double, oh, you actually have to click on it to see, but see how this part's got more space between it now? And if I go back to single, now it's a lot closer. Um, also, along with this, is this part here where it says spacing before and after. Um, if I have a line and I want a little bit of space before it, I could add some here. I could add to make it have a little bit of space before each line. Um, by default, it has some space after because it's set up to single space. If I put zero before and after and I leave it a single and I click OK everything's jumbled together and it makes it more difficult to read so by default this is gonna have something so if I'm going to double space this paper then I need to set this to zero because otherwise it would double space and add this much after each one see when I double space it see how much space there is here now that makes it a lot easier to read Ooh, there's some nice loud thunder but on the other hand, oops, let me get out of here. I'm just going to highlight everything. If I were to come in, and I'm just going to tell it to double space everything. If I were to come in after and add some more space back onto this, look at how much bigger it gets. And at this point, it starts looking like you're trying to add space, which gets very obvious to your instructor. So you don't want to do that. So make sure these are to zero and tell it to double space. And this is what your teacher's looking for when they tell you to double space your paper. Um, many business documents will also need to be double spaced, which is why people have you use double space so much, um, especially legal documents and things like that. A lot of times they'll double space them. Um, sometimes they won't, depends. Again, it's up to you as the person creating the documents. But um, there's also some other things you can do here. Um, you could tell it to indent. See, this one says indent left and it says zero. Well, if I increase that, notice in my picture down here, this text is moving over. So if I wanted all of this text that I've got highlighted here to be over that far, that's how I would do it. I don't want to do that because I want it all lined evenly on the left. So I put it back. But these are just a few of the commands that you can do and uh, to help get your paper set up properly. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next segment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, bye.